This segment brought to you by Kansas Corn. Learn more at kscorn.com. Welcome back. Now let's see what Kyle and Dwayne are up to on Plain Talk. Hi, this is Kyle Bauer with Plain Talk with Dwayne Taves. Kyle Bauer, the factor fiction question of the day. All right. It's no longer yours. I We're know. Sharing I'm this not very happy about it, but just go on. Go on. With, with everybody. Uh, believe it or not, uh, the Earth's deserts are not composed entirely of sand. Fact oh, or fiction? Fact. Yeah. There'd be lots of rock. Well, and there's some some deserts are not, clay. Desert has to do with the amount of rainfall, not the kind of soil. No, no, no that would be no, because Antarctica think. is a desert. Oh, well, and there's it's and there's not right. even soil there. Yeah. 85% of it is sand. The other 15% rock and gravel. You said a lot. That's not a lot. All right. The two together added up to 15%. All right. Percent. That's not a lot. All right. I'm not sure I'm agreeing with that because I thought a desert was anything that got less than X amount of rainfall. You and I have year. talked about it before. The Sahara continues to grow. Yeah. Uh, covering a third of Africa. That's a lot. Yeah. Well, that's a lot of land area. Yeah, and there's so. some countries right out in the middle there that... That's all they are. That's all they are. Ooh, <laughs> that's a tough go. How do you... I want to live on this side of the county. No, I want to live on that side of the county. No, yeah, you don't want to live either. in the county at all. Yeah. <laughs> or country. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Lake Powell is a reservoir similar in size to Lake Mead. Okay. You know where Lake Powell is? No. It's just up the Grand Canyon from Lake Mead. Really? Yes. And when we were out there last this summer, last summer, okay. um, there was supposed to be another one built right in the middle between them. Oh, really? Now, right now, they can't keep either one of them full. Oh. Uh, so there was no point? No. They, 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 it, they got are. stopped by the environmentalists. Why? Oh, because it was... They were going to drown some fish? <laughs> well, they were going to drown the Grand Canyon, for one thing. I couldn't have gone... I couldn't have gone boating down the Grand Canyon 280 miles if they put a dam right in the middle. Yeah, or it would have been pretty rough on that one <laughs> drop off kind of there. bad. Yeah, huh? but it was it they thought they had enough water prior to the mid 1980s right. that they needed another reservoir. Huh. Both reservoirs were full. And now look at it today. They're not. They're not. Not even close. Exactly. So uh, isn't that bizarre? You know, as we as people, we think our time here on Earth is significant. It's like, wow, yeah. over the last 20 years, it's been hot. <laughs> it's been cold. It's been wet. It's been dry. Mother uh, Nature's like, it's been around <laughs> a lot longer. You're yeah. not even a blip. Get, get you a thousand-year data line and see how you <laughs> go on that. Uh, yeah. So. I see where they have wrapped up. You had had gone to John Redmond and watched some of the dredging that was yes. going on. They've, yes. They've completed phase one of that, I understand. And I think they completed that like three months ahead of schedule. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's they, when I was down there, they were really, they were really pumping along. Huh. So, uh, and the thing, the thing that's the problem is, I don't know if it's a problem, the situation that... Uh, I think 40% of the cost of that was mobilization, hauling everything in and hauling it out. Right. Well, it's all there. It's all set up now. Sure. So it's like, so we could maybe do that much more for $10 million instead of 20 Oh. Now, but that's not, whoa, that's a pretty good bargain, except uh, who's got an extra $10 million later? Thanks for joining us. I'm your host, Jamie Bloom, and I hope you enjoyed today's show. See you next week on Farm Factor. We're here every Tuesday on Ag AM in Kansas. Closed captioning brought to you by Ag Promo Source. Together we grow. Learn more at agpromosource.com.